Okay. Kelly, that, that's enough. But can you stop now, please? This isn't funny anymore. Kelly! The play is called Laser Lunacy with the Kabosh Theatre Company and commissioned by the airport and it's to raise awareness to young people about the dangers of using laser pens from the ground to our crafts in the sky that are coming into the airport or taken off from the airport. Many of them are manufactured overseas. They're very powerful. If you look at a, a ring laser that you may have on your key ring, that's probably one milliwatt. Some of these are 500 milliwatts. These can be shone into a cockpit. The effect that produces is often to temporarily blind the pilot. It can distract them, particularly at a time if they're relatively low and they're in a landing configuration. Uh, recently, a Virgin Atlantic pilot was uh, injured uh, when lasers were shone into his face as he was flying out of Heathrow. We would always recommend working with an arts organisation because you get a really creative approach to solving a problem. And an organisation like Kabosh, who have such a long experience of new scripts and script writing and working within the community, you've got so much experience of working with young people. It's tempting to kind of come in and really frighten them with something really scary, but I think you need to make them laugh, pull them in. It's only 20 minutes, so it's quite jovial at the start. And so then it gets quite serious and the kids all get quite, oh gosh, you know, this is serious now. Give me the laser then. Pull <laughs> You card. Sure, you don't even have the guts to ask Donald Keenan out. I read the Facebook messages. He says you've got weird elbows. You don't know what you're talking about. Having taught for 17 years, there are some things that we can say over and over and over again, and it doesn't make any difference because we're the adults standing at the front of the classroom. Whereas whenever you have a play, um, any sort of performance or any sort of workshop even coming into school, well, these are other people who um, I think it comes across the kids think, oh, well, they've lived it. Whereas you, you're the teacher, you're there, you're the, the safe place, but we have to tell them you're not allowed to do this, not allowed to do that. You know, I can remember even when I was in school myself and sometimes you were brought in for information on all various types of things and a lot of them as kids we found boring because they were just presentations of charts and figures. So I think with bringing actors in, creating a scene, letting them recognise stuff that we speak about, you know, Snapchat and Facebook and all that, that makes kids' ears perk up and listen, see what they're doing and then hopefully we'll be able to, be able to deliver the message a bit better than your average flow chart, you know. What's happening over there? That plane crashed, Kelly. What happened? It missed its landing and... and, and uh, well, I, I, I don't know how planes work, Kelly. Were you shining that laser at it? Well, well, yes, but, but it's a plane. But they have protection and stuff, like, don't they? I don't know. I'm not a pilot. <sighs> well, what are we going to do with it? These lasers, many of them are manufactured by some very interesting organisations overseas. They don't care what they're putting in there, they don't monitor what's being put in there, and what you think could only be one kilowatt could be 500 kilowatts. So if you're unsure, get rid of it, send it to us at the airport. We'll destroy it, we'll make sure it's looked after and dealt with appropriately. If not, hand it into your local police station and they'll destroy it as well. A lot of the children will have been on foreign holidays or have friends that have been on foreign holidays and will quite openly say, you know, oh, we got this for two euros at a market here or somebody brought me this back as a present, isn't this cool? And they really don't realise, um, first, you know, the, the information on them might not be correct. They don't know that they could burn something with them. They don't know they could blind someone. They really don't think any further. So hopefully today has helped them to kind of think, think on their actions and make positive decisions which is really what we're all about. If you show that in our craft, it, there's many of different, different things that could come off it. You could potentially blind someone or potentially cause a plane to crash or an emergency uh, landing on the plane. It was a wee bit unexpected. I didn't think like it would get took to, like they can maybe get took to court and go to jail and all, didn't know what could happen. <sighs> They're just standing there telling you about all the dangers. People wouldn't listen, but it's good to have a play to make people laugh like pay attention and all because it's funny. It was kind of funny in the way and it was entertainment and it was a 10 out of 10.